Hi, welcome to SPR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We are previewing week 12 in the NFL. We're talking right now with Tony George from TonyGeorgeSports.com, LockerRoomPicks.com, and his Yahoo radio show every Saturday and Sunday uh, on the Yahoo Sports Radio Network, previewing the NFL and college football cards. Tony George, thanks for being back. Hey, thanks for having me. All right, interesting game you picked here for the NFL, Cleveland and Atlanta. I'm kind of scratching my head on this one. Uh, we'll see what you have to say about it. First, give everyone a rundown of, uh, of what you got going on this year, everything you got going on, all your websites, the radio show, and everything. Well, you know, you got a lot of options out there on the Internet. TonyGeorgeSports.com is one of them. I think I have probably the strongest talent pool of handicappers anywhere on one side on the planet. I've hand-selected them. And of course, all of our plays are guaranteed. you got some heavyweights in there like Joe Gavassi and Teddy Covers, myself, and Brian Leonard, a lot of professional betters out in Vegas, uh, up-and-comer Steve Rich, who does the radio show with me. So you got a lot of options over there, videos. 15 free plays last Saturday on the, and Sunday on the site each day. So a plethora of uh, great information there. Be sure and check it out. And of course, Locker Room Picks is an all-free content site that uh, the same handicappers put a lot of free stuff out on and wagering techniques. And, of course, my radio shows on Yahoo Sports. For the NFL, 11 a.m. to 12 noon Eastern. And on Sunday, Sarah's Channel 92 picked it up at the same time. Cleveland and Atlanta is uh, is the game you chose right now. Atlanta's a three-point home favorite. Total's 47. And Cleveland, of course, you know, they lost at home to Houston last week. Maybe that was a little bit forgivable. They've still overall been a decent team on the air and a decent bet. They still have a winning record against the spread. And Atlanta, of course, eked out a close win at Carolina. Carolina having all kinds of problems this year. And uh, Atlanta, of course, is as well. So now they're at home. Usually... We expect them to play better at home, but this year they just seem like they're not really playing well anywhere. I guess my initial lean would be towards Cleveland with the points. And also it's interesting that uh, both teams have gone under in six straight games. The total looming pretty high at 47. Maybe that's a trap, but my first thought is, I don't know, take a shot with the under. What's your analysis of this game, Tony George? Well, I, I'm with you 100% here. This is an underplay all the way. Um, you know, one thing about Cleveland, they're seventh in the NFL and points allowed and uh, Although Atlanta is dead last, giving up yards and passing yards in the NFL defensively, uh, they're 23rd in uh, points allowed, so it's, it's not like they're having given up 30 a game here. And uh, this is a crucial game, I think, for both teams. Now, Cleveland fell out of uh, the lead in their division, uh, and there's a lot of teams that are sitting there, either 6 3 and 1 or 6 and 4. You know, in uh, the AFC North, so Cleveland, this is a must win for them because Pittsburgh's coming on and Baltimore's coming on. And, you know, that whole in Cincinnati uh, upended uh, New Orleans last week, you know, so this whole division's neck and neck. And then Atlanta at four and six is leading their division. As unbelievable as that sounds, because they got to win over New Orleans, that overtime win in the first game of the season. So, they still have something to play for. They've been playing hard, trying to you know save Mike Smith's job. But uh, at day's end, they've won two in a row here. Again, this is a line much like the Missouri play we talked about in my college video for you guys this week is something stinks with this line mm -hmm. because the better team is you know getting points. You know, and last time I checked, and you're out there, Vegas didn't give away games. Mm -hmm. I mean, they, they just don't do it. You know, they beg you to take another side. It'd be easy to take Cleveland in the three here because they are the better team. But Atlanta, bear in mind, it's a different animal at home. Uh, they play better at home. Um, the fact that I think that uh, you know they're they're that they can exploit uh, Cleveland's run defense here a little bit with Jackson being 100 percent healthy. I mean Cleveland's 30th in defense against the run. So if you want to beat them, you're going to eat up the clock. You're going to run Jackson to use play action and not chuck it all over the place. Now, if Mike Smith wants to save his job and win a ball game at home, that's what he's got to do. Now, he's a lot smarter than I am because he's an NFL head coach, not a handicapper. <laughs> it, doesn't, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to figure that out. And I think that's what they're going to do. There's going to be a lot of clock-eating drives here. And, you know, Cleveland, you know, they'll go for it. They're getting Gordon back. They're going to go for a big strike here and there. But they're still going to run west of the football as well. And uh, under 47 here, both of them six in a row on the unders. Uh, I'm going to take the under 47. Now, Cleveland would make a great front end of a two-team six-point teaser here. Mm -hmm. You can get them through six and through nine, or through six and through seven, all the way up to nine in a low-scoring game, having nine points here. I mean, just ask yourself this question on that, those teasers, Peter. If you are getting Cleveland plus nine in this game, that'd be your game of the year. I mean, no doubt about it. Mm-hmm. 
know, so I'll put them in the front end of a teaser or tease those points up. There's more than one way to beat Vegas to skin a cat, and that's that's one of them. But uh, I think this is a clear cut under game. I don't see either team, you know, getting out of. I, I don't see either team getting out of the low twenties if they get to twenty here. I think it's going to be. There's a lot on the line for both teams. It's good. They're going to hold it tight to the vast, play a very vanilla game, and try and bang out a win. I think this will be a very physical football game, and I, I think you'll see a low-scoring one here. All right. Well, you're always talking about how you know Vegas doesn't give away money, and you know when when there's a suspicious line, it's suspicious for a reason. Both teams have gone under in six straight games, and now you got a pretty high total here of 47. So that rule doesn't apply there. No. Well, it, you know the reason that is 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 that. Uh, Atlanta's defense is is absolutely deplorable. Mm -hmm. I mean, and and so they're going to put that line up there, you know, thinking that Cleveland's going to win their expose it. But Cleveland does not have a high powered offense. You know, they don't. You know, they're not like New like New England or Baltimore, where you know they got a chance to score on damn near every play. And the way this game's going to play out, I think that, uh, like I said, if Atlanta can run the ball against this second from last rush defense in the league, they have a chance to win this game. And if they do that, that's going to eat a lot of clock, you know. And it's not that, you know, trends, I agree with you. If a team is 6-0 on a trend, they're bound to lose one here. It's, it, trends always reverse, and they always even out. But I just don't see a high-flying game here. I really don't. I, I think you're going to see both teams establish a run, do a lot of possession receiver stuff, you know, and uh, get the job done that way. And that, if, if Atlanta wants to win this game, and I'm assuming they do, then they want to run Jackson and they want to run that football. And if, if uh, Ryan has more than 25 passes in this game, then they had a crappy game plan going in. All right, sounds great. Tony George, awesome analysis. Tony George like an under 47 in Cleveland, Atlanta. Thanks, Tony. The SBR Network offers free sports picks and game breakdowns, big money free betting contests year-round, a real-time Vegas-style odds monitoring service, and much more. So come see for yourself. To stay updated on SBR news and promotions, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Google+. And do be sure to subscribe to the Sportsbook Review YouTube channel to catch all our daily sports shows.